back to our stupid directions yet. It's Corbin. Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram, and Twitter, or more juicy content. content. It's, it's juicy coming down the content. road. It drips all juicy. over your body, baby. And today, thank you for supporting Patreon and following official Twitter account. Ring the bell to be part of the notification squad. <gasps> Joyful and triumphant. And today we're reacting to Virdas! 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 That's one son of chap who tweeted my tweet. He did. Uh, that kind fellow. So hey. I expect you hey. to, when you're in Los Angeles, hey. to grab a drink with us. You said you would, pal. Yep. So now you have to. Yeah, but this is from his new uh, Netflix new set. Yep. Uh, his set is called Why uh, Pearl G is the best biscuit in the world. Oh, Parley G. Yes, thank you. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, which we've had. We have had them. But we didn't dip it in tea. I don't know if you did when you went to India at all. But uh, no, I didn't. Um, we we didn't dip it in tea. We didn't dip it. We but ate it, it, but it was tasty, and we yeah. thought about how nice it would taste dipped in a tea. Dipped in some nice tea. Yeah. Uh, but... Uh... Here we go! The one thing you must put on your face in our country is fair and lovely cream. Guys, it's racism in a tube. That's basically what it is. <laughs> the British were never nicer to fellow Indians, were they? No, only we are. <laughs> the British had a very clear policy, man. They were like, we are beige. <laughs> Ever make a biopic about Radhika Aapte? Radhika Aapte, you will have to play Radhika Aapte in her own goddamn biopic. Even in the South, any South Indians here make some noise here? When you have dusty or heroes to overcompensate for that shit, you put them next to the fairest girls in the world. That's all a South Indian movie is, it's contrast. You can't find the right setting on your television. The first thing you must drink when you come to our country, ladies and gentlemen, is Old Monk Rum. Yes? Find a foreigner who likes Old Monk, we'll just give them a fucking passport. That's the rule. I'll take this it. rum is so strong, if you begin a story with soap, we were drinking Old Monk, you can skip to the end of the story. <laughs> you know, old Monk was launched in 1954. Pretty cool. It takes seven years to age a batch of Old Monk. <laughs> Which means we started, started making Old, old Monk, monk in 1947. <laughs> Which means the British left and we were like, shots, let's go. <laughs> Everybody's there, they had food and hors d'oeuvres. As usual, nobody was offering Gandhi. <laughs> guys, they are leaving, I can eat now. I'm off <laughs> and then Nehru showed up and he's like, guys, we're free, we should do shots. They're like, yeah, here's the freedom. <laughs> At the end of the story, my grandmother would pull out a steel tin and pull out the greatest biscuit in the world, the Parley G. Non Indians, on behalf of a billion people, can I humbly say, fuck your cookies. <laughs> Parley G with tea, you will not share with anybody. Parley G without tea, doggy. <laughs> the biscuit, it's a test of your own timing and reflexes. <laughs> no matter which country we are from, we have all had that moment where we have over dipped the biscuit. What? We must now quickly <laughs> get the biscuit <laughs> from the to our mouth. Right, we'll see. Over 73 years of independence, nobody has figured out you need to start out with the cup closer to your mouth. Start out with the cup in Pakistan. <laughs> we are getting over there. The only cup Pakistan will win this year, by the way. <laughs> oh! funny. So funny. He really is oh, just my hysterically word. funny. Uh, also, I, I was, when I was watching it, the America does not do the biscuits and tea. Right. No. Uh, America, it, people drink tea, of course. Yeah. Uh, but not like they do in other places of the world. But people drink tea, but it's really just tea. And you drink tea. Right. 
hardly, I, I don't know a lot of people that have biscuits and tea. No. The th most thing people dip in is like chocolate chip cookies or Oreos. Chips yeah, but even that they do it in milk. Yeah, dip it yeah. in milk. The dipping here is in milk. A chocolate chip cookie in milk, Oreos in milk. Yeah, I guess there could be like a biscotti in coffee. Yeah. Some people do that. Some, some people, people do that. do that. Yeah. Uh, but there's not a, lot of, not a lot of that. I oftentimes don't do it because it gets soggy and I don't. The texture. The texture of the yeah. sogginess. Yeah. It, it, there's a fine line when you dip an Oreo. It's it, true. It, you, you can't get it too soggy, but yeah. you also don't want it. If, if you don't have any, it's too hard. Correct. In, well, in my opinion, some people like it. Um, what's your favorite part of an Oreo? So I just random thing. In or outside part? Um, oh, if I had to choose between the two, I like the outside part because like the, they make the Oreo that has the double filling. I don't like that. I mean, that's just my wife. Yeah. Yeah, I I prefer the filling. You do, yeah, like, yeah. No, I, can, I like. I, I actually can... like the Oreo fins yeah. that like have a just a little taste of the filling in it. That's mm. very nice. You got to have the triple stuffed. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But that doesn't surprise me about you, sugar fiend. I like a twenty stuffed Oreo. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the he I want. I love his setup. Yeah, uh, I do. Too. I Beautiful to watch, setup. Watch his whole um, his whole. Yep, setup. And I think technically he would say. We don't get to have a beer with him unless we watch his full set. Oh, no, we're going to watch that yeah, full yeah, yeah. set. This didn't count. No. Uh, I so. People just asked us to react to it because it had yeah, Old Monk in it. And, yeah. you know, uh, <laughs> I like Old we Monk. We like Old Monk, yeah. Uh, so run. if I get a free passport out of it, I will take it. Yep. Uh, but I, I, also, I just love, as always, I love his stand-up and how he does it. Also, he was sitting down the whole time. How often does that... A stand-up comedian is sitting down, so there's irony. It was in a very that. interesting thing too. I wonder what's happening prior to that, and how much he, in the in the entire set, he 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 changes things. Why is it's like a door? door? Yeah, door and steps. Yeah, why? Is I'm there... sure. I'm sure there's a reference to it at the outset, and he comes through it or whatever. But his his material, and he clearly, um, he clearly does his work not just in his writing, but in his. I I know, like most comics, he'll work out his stuff in small clubs and small rooms and do tests mm -hmm. before he would do a special. So that by the time he's doing a Netflix special, he's got that stuff. That's as memorized as any actor doing a play. Yeah. Every word is memorized. Comedians are so interesting to me. It's a really... Uh, it's something I've wanted to do. I've gone two times to the comedy store to try to do the open mic and never got called up because... As much as I love doing improv and I love doing funny things, there's something utterly terrifying about doing stand-up comedy because you're either going to do well or you're going to suck. And there will be no middle ground. And if you suck, it's going to be brutally painful. Mm -hmm. I've watched comics at the comedy store bomb. Yeah. It hurts. Yeah, I think, <laughs> yeah, it's terrifying. And it is rare that when you see stand-up comedians like at open mics and other things, you appreciate a, com a comedian like Virdas mm -hmm. because really good comics are, are hard to find. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people out there who think they're funny. They are not. Uh, I, I would say it's very rare to find a, a really good stand-up comic. I believe he is. He is. He's coming to here, yeah? When are you going to be here? When will he be here? He's going to be here March. Oh, good. 20th? When, when we're, 20th oh. through... Looks like he's in Irvine. Irvine. Gotta go. Irvine. Irvine. That's close enough for us. Irvine. We can hit Irvine. So he has like five days of Irvine. That's awesome. Which is phenomenal. So we will 100% Absolutely gotta go. Also, that. beer docs, please, if you're watching this. One, would love to have a beer with you. Perfect time for the beer. I would love to have a beer with you. But also, if you want to come to the channel, promote it. I will 100% do that. Uh, <laughs> because be cool. uh, if you're coming to Irvine, we are 100% seeing you because you're amazing. Yep.